A family of four hit head on by a wrong way driver just outside of Ann Arbor. And tonight we're learning the University of Wisconsin's men's assistant basketball coach Howard Moore was in that car with his family. Moore's wife and daughter were killed. Coco McAvoy has the latest along M14 in Washtenaw County. Police are releasing as much information as they can about the deadly crash on M14, but we know it was caused by a wrong way driver. And the news spread quickly on social media, and reports started pouring in that Coach Howard Moore and his family were involved in the crash. And we now know that Moore's wife and daughter did not survive. An outpouring of support tonight from college basketball teams after the news spread of a deadly car crash this morning involving a well-known basketball coach. The University of Wisconsin's assistant coach, Howard Moore, and his family were driving on M14 near Ford Road this morning when their car was hit head-on by a wrong-way driver. Howard's wife and young daughter were killed. He needs to know that the whole coaching profession is thinking of him and praying for him and his family. Oakland University basketball coach Greg Campy coached in the same league with Moore before Moore moved to a new job. Just a really good guy and, um, you know, he's someone you want to talk to and be around. He, he's very family oriented. Coach Campy says the news is devastating for the basketball community. Well, I think we're all in shock when something like this happens. You know, it just shakes you to the core. The wrong way driver, a 23-year-old Ann Arbor woman, died in the crash. Howard and his young son were both injured and are in the hospital now as police wait for toxicology reports to determine how this crash happened. I think everybody is waiting to hear the full story. Um, but, you know, it's, that's not going to change what we do know. And what we do know is one of the saddest things I've ever heard. And police say a good Samaritan did pull over to help get Moore's wife out of the car after the crash. And there was a third car involved in this crash as well, but that driver was not injured. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4. Just horrible. Thank you, Coco.